एवरीवन वेलकम टू मैग्नेट्यूड दिस इज मैनाक दास गुप्ता एंड टुडे वी हैव केम टू द न्यू वीडियो ऑफ द सेमीकंडक्टर सीरीज एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ड्रिफ्ट करंट एंड द डिफ्यूजन करंट दीस टू आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कांसेप्ट्स फॉर द सेमीकंडक्टर्स एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट वाचड आवर प्रीवियस वीडियोस देन डू वाच दोस वीडियोस आई विल गिव द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू आवर चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the latest updates of our channel so not wasting much time let's get started so what is drift current in case of free space when it is a free space then under the influence of electric field what happens what do you mean by under the influence of electric field means when there is a electric field present that means one side will be negative and another side will be positive then the electron travels in a straight line that means the electron will be, electron is negatively charged then obviously the electron will move to the positive side means the positive terminal in a free space the electron will gradually move in a straight line from negative terminal to the positive terminal but this always doesn't happen because we don't have free space in our nat natural environment so in nearly 25 degree celsius what happens in nearly 25 degree celsius the electron move from the negative terminal to the positive terminal but they continuously collide with the atoms so what actually happens let us see by a diagram what happens suppose this is a material the material can be a semiconductor or a conductor so what happens in a semiconductor there might be a lot of atoms suppose this is a atom this one is an atom this one is an atom suppose there are a lot of atoms present when atoms are present then definitely there will be some electrons suppose this one is an electron present so when there is no electric field what happens the electron will gradually move in this direction and after colliding with this atom it will randomly choose any of the direction so what happen after colliding with this atom it generally drags and move to this one and again again after colliding with this one it may come down so it has a particular path so what kind of material it is the mat this material is a semiconductor or conductor and the path which it is formed it is formed when there is no influence of electric field but now there is a twist what happens when electric field is given when electric field is given let us assume that a negative poten a negative pole is formed here and a positive pole is formed so we have a negative terminal and a positive terminal so electron is negatively charged electron is negatively charged so what happens it will gradually be attracted towards the positive terminal so now what will be the path the path will be something like this it will slightly move here it will get collided with the atom and after colliding it will again move to this one and again after colliding with this atom it will gradually move so what we have observed here we have observed that there is a slight shifting of the path see we have seen a slight shift even we have seen a slight shift here also so what is happening the thing is there is a small drift of the path of the electron the electric field cannot stop the colliding of the electrons with the atoms but it can definitely provide a drift of the path of the electron towards the positive side make sure one thing the drift should always be towards the positive terminal and this drifting and the current from due to this drifting of the electron is known as drift current so what is diffusion current so before you understand what is diffusion current i would like to say you that what is actually diffusion diffusion means the movement of particles from higher concentration to lower concentration so what is higher concentration higher concentration means where the accumulation of particles is much high and lower concentration means where the accumulation of particles is low or the value might be negligible so when the uh, elements from higher concentration move to lower concentration then it is known as diffusion so now we'll come to the point what is diffusion current so i have taken a semiconductor material so this is a 
semiconductor material. So what happens here? Suppose by any external source a huge amount of a charge is charge carriers are accumulated at one end of the semiconductor. One thing make sure that this all charge carriers will be of any one polarity means it either will be positive or it will be negative. So I have taken here negative because I have mentioned electrons here. So suppose all the electrons are accumulated in a particular end of a semiconductor material. Then what happens? You will have a question in your mind that all these electrons are of same polarity. So what will happen? They will have a repulsion force among them. So while they will have a repulsion force, then what will happen? The electron will try to move away from each other. So as it will move away from each other, then what will happen? The picture will be something like this. What will happen? This electron will be spread all over the material in an equal order. Means all the electrons will be in something like this way. So what happens? The electron in the higher concentration, they gradually move to the area of lower concentration and after some time we can observe that the electrons are almost equally spread in all over the material. So the movement of these charge carriers, mind it, it may be electron or it may be hole. So the movement of these charge carriers from higher concentration to lower concentration, the current formed due to this is known as diffusion current. So at the last we need to know two important formulas of charge carrier velocity. One of them is Vn equals to minus mu n into E and another one is Vp equals to uh, mu p into E. So in these two cases we are finding the electron velocity and the hole velocity. We know that we represent electrons by n because negatively charged and holes by p because positively charged. So here we are finding the electron velocity by Vn and Vp is the full, uh, whole velocity and E is the electric field and mu n and mu p are the electron and hole mobility constant. So in the next video we are going to uh, discuss about the pn junction but I would like to give you an important fact on that. As we have discussed today about the diffusion current and the drift current. So do you know one thing? The diffusion current is majorly due to the majority charge carriers and the drift current is due to the minority charge carriers. As we move forward to the next video, you will have all these doubts clear. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and share your doubts in the comment section. I will give all the explanation there. So see you soon in the next video.